Hey guys, Mike the Vike here, back for yet another Rust update video. This week, yet another super duper awesome update. Absolutely love it. So the first thing that they added this week, and probably the most game changing, is weapons and tools and stuff now show on your player. This is amazingly important because now you won't have nakeds running up to you saying they're friendly and then pulling out like a pipe or something like that. Another thing that makes it cool is it scans your entire inventory for the best weapons you have on you and it will display those. So, for example, I've got a few weapons here. If I drop this rocket launcher, it will go to the next most like high-end thing, which should be the AK. See? Now if I got rid of the AK, it should show the double barrel and so on. I think you get the idea. Obviously if I switch weapons, hang on, let me do that again. If I switch weapons, it will go to my MP5, which I just had on my hands. And another nice little touch is it does display the attachments of the gun, even if it's on your back, which is kind of cool. And then you can also see on my leg there, it does display the pistol as well. This is awesome. I absolutely love this. Not only is it good just for like gameplay and knowing who has what, I also think it just makes the game like a lot more real it, it's it's just a great feature now this is nitpicking of course but it does feel a little bit funny that you have like a floating pistol on your leg maybe add like a little uh holster that automatically shows up on your gear that way it's a little bit more realistic maybe add like slings on some of these items on your back i guess the back isn't as bad mostly just the pistol looks strange now one thing I thought is cool is this includes tools as well. So you see I have a pickaxe on my back currently. It even shows a hatchet if that's all you have. So you really know exactly what the person has, tools and weapons alike. Next up they've made some more changes to the auto turret. Last week we got the red laser. Well now they've made it so that when a turret is in peacekeeper mode, it displays a green laser. So this is good so that you know that if you're just a naked or whatever wanting to buy some goods at a store, if you see green that means the turret won't kill you. Whereas if you have the red that of course means it's going to shoot anything in sight. Next up we have some item cost reductions. The first being the pump shotgun is now significantly cheaper. Now only requiring one spring, two pipes and 20 high qual. I think this is a great change because I think shotguns are kind of underused. The bucket helmet no longer requires sewing kits, it's now only 20 cloth and 40 metal frags. This will make it kind of a little bit more early game so that you don't have to rely on like a, a cloth head wrap or whatever. And the pickaxe has a slight reduction now only requiring 125 frags instead of 150. Next up. They have added back the winter biome, or it's always been there, but it was kind of only at mountains. Well, now we actually have a true winter biome, and it takes up a pretty large area, as you can see. I love this change, I kind of missed the winter biome, and I'm very happy that it's back. They've also made quite a few changes to the environment. The first being foliage got a lot of updates, now it kind of has a movement to it and it's going to be a little bit harder to hide in some of the bushes. They also have added a lot of overgrowth. You'll see this at the rad towns as well. It's kind of just like these little trees everywhere. And here's a look at some of the overgrowth now at the dome. You can see they kind of just put a whole bunch of trees on it. And I'll be honest, I think they kind of went a little bit overboard. I'd, I kind of have trouble picturing a bunch of trees growing on metal, at least this big. With that said, I think it's a cool idea. I think it might be neater if maybe we had more of like a moss thing going on instead of just like legit trees. Next up, they have now added some loot into caves. So you'll see we've got a regular wood box and you should see a few other types. This is definitely needed because I feel like the caves just aren't worth going down right now. There just isn't enough there. They've also added some wonderful flower variations into the world, which is <laughs> quite beautiful, you know? If you need to take a moment to appreciate Rust for its beauty, you know, and you just need to take a time out, you can just chill with these flowers. 
Next up, they actually added the new bunker textures that we have seen recently. In the past, these didn't have any textures, and this definitely looks a lot better. I'm loving like the smoke stuff. Kind of annoys me that it's 2D smoke. Like, like see how it just moves with you? Like that's kind of, kind of lame. But uh, obviously, other than that, we got a lot of cool textures, a lot of cool pipes on the walls, and and things like that. Like, look at this. See how, like, atmospheric this is? This could legit be in a horror movie right here. Uh, I just wish that the bunkers and stuff were more worth going to. There should be more available at these than just loot. And that's gonna be the end of stuff that's in the game. Let's take a look at things that aren't quite there yet. Firstly, we've got a deployable locker, which they're gonna add. This is apparently to store items, of course. And uh, I'm not sure what the specific thing is. Maybe it's for clothing. Maybe they took a few hints from me. I don't know. At the very least, it adds some variety to your bases, which is always good. And it sounds like we're going to be getting that wood armor soon. Here's another picture of it. Uh, not too different from last week, but it's good that it's getting redone. And then it also looks like we're going to be getting a drop box. This is something you attach to your door so that instead of going into your base and making like you know, a drop box, you can now make this little thing and it just conveniently stores your items. This just makes dropping off loot a little bit less annoying. You don't even have to really go into your base. And that's going to be the end of this week's Rust update. Overall, yet another fantastic week for the game. A lot of game changing stuff has been added recently and this is no exception. This was of course recorded on my Rust server, it's a 2 times gather modded server, a little bit easier experience overall. If you're interested in joining, there's info on how to do so in the description. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like, that helps the channel a lot. Also, if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe, I've got a lot more videos on the way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.